。结束北京的出访行程，美国国务卿布林肯虽然与中国大陆国家主席习近平会面，但一如外界预测，双方都没有在中大议题上有所共识。美国前国防部长艾斯培就点出其中的关键，认为双方在争议性问题上有太大的分歧。The fundamental issues between us, such as Taiwan, the war in Ukraine, China's stealing of our intellectual property and espionage, those things aren't going to be reconciled. I mean, those are fundamental differences between our two countries. China thinks they are in the right and that we are the aggressor, and that's going to be the those will be the big questions. 尽管双方同意将展开更多的双边会谈，但在军事的沟通上仍然卡关。埃斯佩就认为，对于这一次的会议，美方态度明显太心急。I am a little concerned about the events leading up to it, if you will. We seemed a little bit too anxious to have this meeting happen, which plays into the Chinese narrative back on the mainland. And then I'll be watching very carefully what comes out of this. I want to make sure that we don't, you know, take our foot off the gas when it comes to important policy issues that need to be pursued as we compete against China and in some places confront them. 但艾斯培认为，中国大陆在经济上面对的难题，也让北京希望尽快与美国展开交流。I mean, their wolf warrior diplomacy has really scared off folks around the world, particularly the Europeans, who they're trying to court very hard. But China also has economic problems, right? Their growth this year is not what they expected. They had a quick surge after they opened up the country after COVID, and now they've dropped as well. The unemployment rate of their of Chinese youth is, I think, above 20 percent. So they have a good number of economic problems that they're facing. So they cannot afford a, you know. Economic tensions and standoffs with the United States or the world. 美方强调，这次出访部分议题也取得北京方面的承诺。中方保证，现在没有向俄罗斯提供致命性武器，未来也不会让中国大陆的武器用在与乌克兰的作战当中。但布林肯也担心，中国大陆企业可能提供俄罗斯能用来进一步侵略乌克兰的技术，呼吁北京能有警惕。而埃斯佩认为，面对中国大陆，应该要更加谨慎。The Chinese continue to provide dual-use technologies like semiconductors and drones and things like that that can be used and are being used by the Russians on the battlefield. I, look, I think we need to curtail that as well. But I'm, a, I'm quite skeptical about Chinese promises. We've seen them in the past and most famously years ago when the Chinese promised not to militarize islands in the South China Sea to President Obama and then less than a year later went on to do that. 尤其出访前传出中国大陆与古巴达成协议，将在当地成立间谍设施，收集美国方面的情资。埃斯佩强调，在他任内并没有掌握相关消息。And they are, we see their actions since last fall have really picked up. Whether it's confronting our aircraft in the skies above the South China Sea, our ships in the Taiwan Strait, you know, police stations in the United States, balloons over the United States, all these things show an increased Chinese activity. As they try and gain dominance over the United States, certainly in the Indo-Pacific, Indo-Pacific, and globally for sure. So, look, it's important that we realize this is the greatest strategic threat we're going to face in this century. 不但要防中国大陆监听，还得担心内部最高机密外流，而且外泄的来源还可能是自家总统。埃斯佩认为，川普的密件案应该谨慎处理，但有关键资讯落到敌对国家当中，将对美国造成严重威胁。Imagine if a foreign agent. Uh, another country were to discover documents that outline America's vulnerabilities or the the weaknesses of the United States military. Think about how that could be exploited, how that could be used against us in a conflict, uh, how an enemy could develop countermeasures, things like that. I mean, those things affect our ability uh, to effectively execute policy, and it could also affect uh, again. The the lives of our military members who are sent forward to do. 从担任国防部长任内，埃斯佩一直对中态度属于强硬的鹰派人物。卸任后仍然持续关注美中情势发展，担忧华府在大国角。想看最完整的新闻内容，记得下载 TVBS 新闻网 APP。